far left activists advising Camilla Harris on immigration policy. <laughs> now, she comes out saying that she wants to fix the borders and she want to protect the borders and all these other things, but everything that she's doing tell us otherwise. Her history tell us otherwise. The mainstream media continues to cake for and pretend like she's going to do something about these things. But um, if you actually look at which, what, ha what she has done, and, um, and again, by her actions, by getting this far left person to work with her, who is an open, vo open border person, he worked, um, he, he, he actually helped the UK with their open border policy, and we know what's going on there in, in Great Britain. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link um, to um, to my X account where you can check out um, news that I post throughout the day there. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from, um, from Headline USA, um, and they report that a leftist activist who has advocated open borders is reportedly advising Vice President Cabela Harris's campaign. Frank Sherry, an immigration policy expert who most recently worked with the United Kingdom's far left Labor Party, is working with Harris to develop her immigration strategy according to Politico. Again, she's talking about doing something about the borders, but she's working with someone that's for open borders. Sherry has uh, praised Department of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas. <laughs> Again, this this further shows what, what, what her real intentions is. Um, arguing at the time of his appointment that he was the right man to, quote, undo Trump's cruelties, advance fair and humane policies, and deliver on bold change the American people strongly support. Um, we don't support that. We support securing our borders for our own safety. But um, in a statement, Sherry went on to call Mayor Orcas, quote, an architect of the popular and successful DACA program, the Cuban-born son of a Holocaust survivor and a refugee himself, who, quote, understands uh, intuitively what America at its best stands for and how these values need to be um um, operationalized in law, regulation, and policy. He has also applauded the Biden administration's refusal to enforce immigration law, calling Biden's agenda, quote, the right idea, the right vision, the right strategy. Again, how is that working out for Americans now? We're, we're, uh, all our resources is going to illegal immigration while uh, the normal um, American citizen sitting here and, and suffering. We seen we all seen that receipt of that thirteen what was it thirteen or fifteen thousand uh, uh, dollar uh, bill that they ran up on on um, food stamps in, in um, I think it was New York I can't remember this in New York or Chicago or somewhere like that they're just getting all of these handouts while um, normal people are struggling you know we have homeless veterans on the street um, and that gets they get absolutely no help but um, his role with Harris's campaign confirms the vice president's immigration policy would be much more radical than what she has tried to present to voters in recent weeks. And that's exactly why she's not actually t talking very much about policy. She's very vague on those policies. But quote, Donald Trump has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk, she said at a campaign rally earlier this month. Really? Because <laughs> when I I remember that the border, uh, he was trying to build the wall, and we didn't have as much um, illegal immigrants coming into this country under him like we do today. So what is she talk? What is she talking about? She goes on to say, "quote He tanked the bipartisan deal because he thought it would help him um, win an election, which um, goes to show Donald Trump does not care about the uh, border security. The current borders are claimed." He only cares about himself, and when I am president, I will actually work to solve the problem. That, that We know that border security bill was not really a border security bill. It did not secure the border. They allowed, um, they actually allowed a certain amount of illegal immigrants into this country. I think it was um, um, 2,500 or 5,000. I can't remember. 
Um, but contrary to Harris's false statement, Republicans refused to back a Democrat border security bill because it failed to provide meaningful measures such as deportations and instead would have simply reallocated the funds to Mayor Orcas to continue his uh, deliberate um, importation of illegal immigration, um, sorry, illegal immigrants. Harris has not explained why she has not already taken action on immigration as the sitting vice president or the official appointed by President Joe Biden to take lead um, on the migrant crisis. But former President Donald Trump has made that point repeatedly, reminding voters that Harris has been terrible at everything she's been told to do. Quote, Camilla Harris has been the ultra liberal driving force behind every single Biden catastrophe, the former president told uh, supporters in North Carolina. So how can someone that created the crisis <laughs> say to go come in and fix the crisis? It makes absolutely no sense. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.